Good morning, everybody. It's Laura, and I am here with um, the Cloudburst collection from, I have glue stuck to everything, from the May Bargain Bead Box. And I got to tell you guys, I am so struggling with this box to create something. Um, so I really went through and picked off a couple that I wanted to use um, to make this necklace with. This necklace is going to be kind of um, a little bit asymmetrical. I am going to get another one of these out because um, I got thinking last night after I set this all aside that I kind of wanted to put this toggle in the front because it is a big bold statement piece and I did not want to hide that. Um, I did find a couple of these that were kind of so, sort of small enough that they would go inside. See what I'm saying? Everybody had beads and uh, crystals that would fit inside of these. There was only a couple that were small enough that would fit inside of these um, without too many issues. The Most of them were too big. Um, I've seen so many people do beautiful things with their box and... I struggled. <laughs> um, I do have some of the um, faceted crackled lantern beads. Um, and I do have some of these. Um, now, gosh, I forgot what they were called. We didn't get very many. Um, the mini strand of natural appetite nugget. No, that can't be right because this is... Hmm. There weren't very many. Maybe it is, but anyways, it's these. Um, they're the appetite beads. Um, I have a few of them out, not very many, because we didn't get a whole lot of these. And um, I'm going to make some links with them in between. And I have some of the chain. We got, I believe, 24 inches of it. I got some of the copper... Um, eye pins out and I've got some of the copper spacers out. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make some simple loops. I know this has holes in it. I just got to find it. There we go. And I'm going to bend this over just like that. I'm going to clip it off really short. because I want a really short loop. And um, a really small little loop on top, just like that. And I do want to make them um, go the same direction. So I'm going to give them a little bit of a twist here so that my loops face the same way. I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. Um, bargain bead box. Normally, I absolutely love the box. I do love the box. I'm just having a hard time putting the box together um, to make pieces. Now, I can tell you, I could take these pieces and put them with other boxes or other pieces I've got here and make gorgeous jewelry. I am just having a hard time putting this box together, if that makes sense. Um... And it's just me. I'm seeing other people make gorgeous jewelry. And, um, you know, I'm like, I just can't get it to work for me. So, again, I'm taking the other one. This is kind of sharp here on the bottom, but um, it's not so sharp it's going to cut somebody's skin. Because this is going to be up on someone's chest. I don't want someone to, like, feel it and go, oh, my gosh, that's too sharp. And not want to purchase it, you know. Now I'm going to roll this another simple loop and make sure that they are going the same way. And of course, they're not. So we're going to get a hold of this and this and turn. And that one will go there. And then we're going to make some, we'll just kind of straighten that out. We're going to take the lantern beads. These are gorgeous. I love these. And we're going to take some of the appetite one between, one there, and 
actually I think I was going to put like this one of the spacer beads an appetite a spacer an appetite and we're going to kind of turn them so they nestle and then I'm going to whoops without bending the whole thing because these these pins will bend pretty easily bend it trim the excess make another tiny little loop trying to get my pliers to the edge of that as far to the edge as possible sometimes it's hard to do and still be able to you know have a good grip sometimes you just can't and that's okay make a nice tight loop straighten it back up and these don't have to be straight across because um, sometimes you don't want them to be um, if I go to put this together and I decide I don't want them straight across, I'll straighten them back, you know, move them back where I need them to be. Um, if you're new here and you don't know what Bargain Bead Box is, um, like I said, this is just a box I'm struggling with. And I have seen some beautiful creations come out of this. Um, it is just me and it may be because... I'm having a rough time this month. I really am. You know, I've been to the dentist. I've had a lot going on this month personally. And sometimes, you know, your creativeness just isn't with you. And I think that's more my issue than the box. Because normally I can look at something and say, I can do this or I can do that. And it just isn't there for me this month. Um, but that's okay. Um I'm, I can kind of pick out what I want to do with different parts of it. And I'm going to do that because they're beautiful. But um, don't look at this box and say, oh, my gosh, you know, she's saying that she can't do something with this box. It is me that it's me personally. Um, I'm struggling this month, guys. OK, with my own personal problems. So it's not the box. I'm, I think it's more me. <laughs> um, so. Don't let that like interfere with you wanting. I'm gonna need a different one of those because that one goes straight through the center. Bargain Bead Box is a monthly subscription service, and I do have a coupon code if you're interested, where you can save uh, two dollars off your very first box. Um, well, that's not gonna hold very good. Look very good. And um, let's try this one. And you can save $2 off your very first subscription box. And um, it's $19.49 a month. It is one of the best subscription services for the money out there. Um, you get all kinds of goodness. And I got to tell you, um, it's a great box to have, especially for the summer months with your kids. Sit them down and let them, you know, learn to do something. Um, keeps them out of trouble, keeps them doing something, and, you know, and um, when you join Bargain Bee Box, you um, also get a 30% off coupon in there for the shopping in their sister store, and you can use that coupon code all month long, so it is a really great buy to be able to purchase other items that you want to have during the month. And, you know, the prices are already extremely low. So, you know, that's a great deal. I know I have more of them somewhere. So I'm going to need one more of those big loops. And here they are. Because I decided I'm going to make this asymmetrical. I want to get this out while I'm thinking because I'm kind of laying it out. Um, so I have a coupon code. It's right here on the screen. It's all capitals, dragonfly, and the number two, and it's all one. Ugh, I did it again. And this will save you $2 off your subscription box. And you, um, 
the link and everything will be in the description below. And you will, um, my mind is just all over today, guys. I got so much going on. Um, and you can, um, I lost my clippers. Use that link and use the code in at checkout. And it's also going to be in the pinned comments. Like I said, my mind is like everywhere this morning. I have so much going on today. Um, they're putting in new windows. I have to move everything away from the windows and my bedroom and away from everything. And it's like just so much going on here. So we're going to put them back in here so they're out of the way. Tuck them out of the way. Okay, so what we're doing next is... I'm going to attach with jump rings, which I thought I had out. I do, they're right here. We have multiple sizes of jump rings. Now, I know that I could just open these big ones and they're not really closed all the way, so I'm gonna do that first because I don't want them to be letting everything out. Um, so what I decided to do was my big huge bookshelf in my bedroom has to be moved and I think the only thing holding that bookshelf together is the ton of books that's on it okay I think those jump rings will stay um so it seems how I have to take all the books off in order to move this big six and a half foot tall bookshelf I think I'm just going to get rid of all my books except for my Lillian Jackson Braun, the Cat Who books. So we're going to open this book, or this book, this ring. We're going to hook it to this ring. Ah, my fingers and my... Nothing is going right this morning. Yeah, it won't come out. And then I'm going to hook this right on here. And then we're going to close this back up. Um, I have a bunch of these that I bought, I believe at Walmart and when I put them together I can literally take with my fingers and just pull them apart that's very good so we have this together like this and then we're going to take let's see what kind of jump so what size jump rings are we going to need probably the big ones to get this to this on both top and bottom so let's I thought I had the jump rings already in the package, but I didn't. So we're going to take a big jump ring. We're going to open this up. We're going to put this on. Well, let's wait and see if I got this the right direction that I want it to go. I want the big side out. So we're going to put it on here. Yes. We'll see. I might have to open it back up. Close it up, and then I'm going to take yes, this works. Woo! <laughs> I was starting to worry there for a second if it was going to be big enough. We're going to take another big jump ring. We're going to hook the top loop. Bring this up. Come on. Okay, whichever way you want to do this. We'll hook it through. Okay. Please do this for me. I know this sounds and looks a little difficult. I just want to close you up for now. Hear that metal click click? Oops. All right. Once we have it on there, we're good to go. Now. We're gonna fasten this jump ring right here that we just fastened to this with a small jump ring. And I think I wanna use just the tiny, tiny jump ring. Maybe not. <laughs> I don't know if I have that kind of patience. We're gonna go with the bigger jump ring just because I don't think I have that kind of patience to work with that small of a jump ring. We're gonna grab a hold of this jump ring. This is what's gonna help hold that in the center. And we're gonna put on this piece. And not drop everything. Oh, 
and we're going to make sure that that is closed and it is. So this is what we've got so far. I really like that. I really do. Okay. Take a deep breath, Laura. Now I've got to fasten this and this together. <laughs> oh, this is coming together so much nicer than I thought it was going to. Um, like I said, it, it's partially me. Um, and I don't, I have a really hard time with textures. Um, I have diabetic neuropathy. So anything sharp or, you know, rough, um, feels like it's tearing my skin apart. So I have a very big problem with a lot of textures. So like this is something I would not be able to wear because, because of this. So we have that. And then I'm going to, well, I have to have the, this size jump ring to go through that upper. Let's see. Let's fill out the jump rings. So I want to make sure I'm not using up the size I need for everything. We'll use this. We have a ton of these, correct? Correct. Okay. I have not been able to shop in the sister store this month to get extras. And that's just me. But, you know, it is what it is. This one, I'm not putting anything in. It's going to be a counter effect to this. So, um, yeah. Whoops. Just hold still for just a moment. We're going to make sure this goes closed. There we go. So that's what that side's gonna look like. I'm going to again, make sure to close this one up because it is also open. Okay, I have to swap hands with this. I'm going to just use this as my next piece. I got so many comments when I was set up about how beautiful that was using these in the front of the necklaces. I actually sold um, a necklace to an, a lady who, like me, has difficulties reaching behind her to fasten necklaces. And she says, oh my gosh, I've never seen anybody put the fastener at the front. She thanked me for that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this up to myself. This is a piece that you want up high on your chest to show off that um, quartz piece. So we're going to lay that there. Let me get my wire out of the way. And yes, this is a little asymmetrical. It's not perfectly straight. I know where it come on my chest, so let me put the chain around my neck. Let's see if that'll crack it. There we go. I'm going to add this and this heavy toggle. All right. Glasses, like re stronger reading glasses. That's all I wear anyways, because my left eye doesn't focus. Um, so I gave up on prescription glasses years ago because my right eye's just got astigmatism. Um, so when they do glasses, they want to put like four you know, four layers of bifocal kind of thing. I don't know what they call it on my left eye. And you know how hard it is to see through that because it does not focus at any, I mean, there's one level it focuses at and that's it. Um, I can't remember what they call it, but. And then we'll go da 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 da, -da just like so. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. I love how it turned out. I really do. Everybody, thank you so much. And I'll talk to all of you guys down in the comments below. Bye, everybody.